Well, hey there folks, welcome back once again to The Hop House. It's Eddie here, and it's time for another beer review. Time for another Virgin beer review. That means I've never had this beer before in my life. Now, if you're brand new to the channel, welcome along to The Hop House. We'll call that something like Hoppy Beer, we like house music, we're on the beer side. Um, but if you like either of those or both, then go ahead and give us a, a thumbs up. Give us a like, share, subscribe to this channel. It'll help us out if you want to. Okay, excuse me. Pardon me, um, that was disgusting, but it felt good. I am now doing another Virgin Beer review from leftfieldbeer.co.uk. Go and check them out. I'll put a link to their website in the commenty thing, jobby bit below, you know what I mean, uh, when I post it. They do some great beers. They've got a great selection of craft beers, craft breweries. They do ones from abroad as well. Um, gets delivered to you via DHL. Uh, and this next brewery, over the last few months have become one of my favourites actually. Considering the first beer I ever had from them, I really didn't like. It was too dank. I'm talking of course about Polly's. Polly's Brew Co. in North Wales, the north of Rex, no Mould. North of Mould, aren't they? Um, but they're not mouldy. They're brilliant. They're a fantastic brewery. Uh, they do have a great selection of Polly's um, Brew Co. beers on leftfieldbeer.co.uk. They have some in, even the full price ones, great. They're cheaper than other like for like websites. Um, but this was from their reduced section. Basically the reduced section is beer that's either coming up to or going past their um, best before. And um, it just means that they're cheaper. And if you're into, if you follow your best before dates, then don't bother. But if you're not fussy like me and you want to, some savings and a bit of a bargain just as long as you keep them in an okay temperature i've got it outside in a big plastic box um in the bottom of the garden that the sun never gets on and it keeps it enclosed and then i just whack it in the fridge and freeze it to cool it down right let me show you what we're going to review okay so this is called rock major it's a pale ale coming in at 5.2 percent abv in a 440 Milliliter can. Like the artwork, lots of, are they supposed to be fruits? Guessing they're fruits, so it's going to be fruity, like those fruits. Is that strawberry, orange, mango? It's supposed to be a lime. Either that or it's just funky patterns with the uh, the sort of drop logo, which is now famous what polys, and there's the polys writing if you've never seen a polys can before. Should we get it out and moving along? I didn't want to open that. Ooh, lovely bit of CO2 release. Using the Coracle beer glass. If you're ever in my neck of the woods, get yourself down to the Coracle Micropub in Ironbridge. It's very, very good. They do some fantastic beers. Waiting for their new pub that they have announced. They're opening up in Wellington, so I'll give that a visit. Might do some beer reviews there um, in the future as well. So then, what do we know about Polly's? Their beers usually look like this. Look at that. It won't fit the whole uh, can in here because it's only a two-thirds glass, so I'll have to um, pour and re-pour. But that is hazy for daisies. It's very orangey. Polly's beers are usually lighter than that, actually. They're more custardy colour, but that is quite sort of orangey. It's really hazy. Fantastic sort of fluffy, foamy white head on top. Look at that as we jig it around in the glass. It looks ace. Do a bit, we'll do a bit more laser vision um, as we go on. Just realised I didn't do laser vision in the last video. So those that love the lacing, my apologies. Right. Oh, that smells good. Sorry, giving it a whiff, see what we can sniff. Oh, that's juicy. Fruity. Orange, mango, pineapple definitely coming through. It gets, smells similar to the last beer. Maybe it's, I thought it was lime, a bit sugary lime. Is it coconut? Is it Sabro? Again, is it another Sabro hot beer? Certainly on the sweeter end, the mango is definitely there. Pineapple's definitely there. Orange. Not necessarily peach or passion fruit. It's a bit more vibrant and sweeter than that. But it smells really good. It could be another surefire winner for Polly's. My favourite Polly's beer I've had was the, was it Cracks Pale Ale? That was a 
beauty. That was only about four and a half. That was about four and a half, four three, something like that, around my uh, happy zone. Although this is five point two, so this is my happy zone. Right, rock major. Let's get in there. Bottoms up, down the hatch. Police have done it again. They've done it again. Oh, best before on that is a 13th of April. So it is past its best before. We're in June. Um, it's about two months out of day. You wouldn't think it. You wouldn't, my God, if I had this fresh off the bat. Oh, oh, oh it's really tropical, juicy. Orange, mango, pineapple, on the smell. Carbonation, oh, so soft. Nice sort of dried tart fruit aftertaste, like a dried fruit, ripened fruit. But it's not bitter, it's more, it's just like an aftertaste you get if you drink a fruit juice. And that's what it tastes like. Uh. A slightly fizzy fruit juice. Oh, it really smells like it. Tropical fruit juice in your hotel in Spain. All day long. Right, let's put the rest of the can in there. I want it all! I want it all! Right. Polly's, Polly's, Polly's. Bit of lace, oh hang on. It's a bit um, chilled haze. We'll try a bit of lace vision for those that love the lacing. We'll jig, 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 jig it. See how it reacts in the glass and then we'll turn the glass like so. And hopefully you'll be able to see, if I move my head out of the way so it doesn't concentrate on my face. The, um, the bubbles chasing the bottom of the head around the glass, the little magic trick I love in beer. Sad. Oh, it's really welcome the aromas up. BAM! It was, it, it, I could tell it at first, it wasn't jumping out of the glass like it has done in some of the beers. I think the size of the head sometimes matters because you sometimes you just get like pulpy head smell. So, oh my word, that's amazing. That is a fantastic, fantastic beer. What a beer. Oh, it's so juicy. It is like having a fruit juice. But with hops, it's amazing. That is such a tasty, fruity, jobby beer. Polly's Bruco can do no wrong. Let me see what they say about Rock Major. Pale Ale with Laurel and Simcoe. Of course, it's got Simcoe in it. Every beer's got Simcoe in it. Never had a beer with Laurel in before. I was sort of getting... The rest of that is a very small rioting. I think some of it might be in Welsh, you know, fair play to them. It's Pale Ale, Laurel and Simcoe, that's sort of all we got really. Rock Major Pale Ale, 5.2%, boom, Polly's, is it polysbrewco.com? What's their website? www.polysbrew.co, there you go. Does it give us ingredients? Malts of barley, oats, wheats, hops and yeast, so yeah. It's oats, it's hops and it's yeast, and it's fantastic. It's another major success for me for Polly's. Um, I've started now, when I go, I've been to a couple of pubs that have some cake beers on, and when they have a Polly's beer, I have it. Um, it was just that first one that put me off, and the others I've had in can and in keg have been superb. So go and have a look at Polly's Bruco. You can get some great deals from their own website. Go on Leftfield Beer. If you're not bothered about Best Before Dates, go on their reduced section. Sign up to their mailing list because they do send you emails and stuff with discount codes. They have like flash sales on over weekends and stuff. And then sometimes every now and again, they just whack a 20% off for everybody that's either on their Facebook page, it's emailed to you, 
or it's on the banner at the top of their website at the homepage. So Fieldbeer.co.uk, go check them out. Polly's Brew Co, Polly's Brew.co, go check them out. Rock Major, don't know if you can get it anymore. It might still be on left field beer. But that is a superb two thumbs up, two feet, four limbs out of four, water beer. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you again for some more beer reviews right here in my kitchen on the Hop House. Ciao for now, people. Ta-ra.